Hello homeschoolers! Welcome to Science Class, the New Normal Edition. I am Teacher Gwen and join me today as we learn new science concepts at the comfort of your home. For today's learning objectives, we need to explain the different types of circulation and explain the mechanism of how respiratory and circulatory system work together. We have three types of circulation. First is the pulmonary circulation, which is defined as the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. Now, how does it work? This is how the pulmonary circulation takes place. First, the blood enters the superior and inferior vena cava from the, lower, from the upper and the lower part of the body. Then to the right atrium, to the right ventricle, and to the pulmonary arteries. So from this part of the heart, remember that the blood okay, it flows in these different parts of the heart is called the deoxygenated blood, which contains carbon dioxide. So, since it contains carbon dioxide, they will then be moved to the lungs. Okay? So, from the lungs to the action of the capillaries, which is the uh, smallest blood vessel, and through the action of diffusion, okay, the red blood cells containing carbon dioxide will then be uh, replaced with oxygen. So, they will be now oxidized and the oxygenated blood will then flow to the pulmonary vein, to the left atrium, and to the left ventricle. And from there, it will then uh, move up to the aorta. Okay? So, from the aorta, it will then be distributed to the different parts of the body. So, this is called the pulmonary circulation. Okay, so as you notice in this picture, the right side of the heart is blue, while the uh, left side of the heart is red. Okay? It means that the blue blood vessel contains blood without oxygen, so it is called the oxygenated blood, while the red blood vessel contains oxygenated blood or blood with oxygen. Why is the heart a double pump? The left side and the right side of the heart works simultaneously, which means they work at the same time. Okay? The first pump of the blood returns from the lungs to the heart, which means if the blood comes from the lungs, that means it contains oxygen, so it is called oxygenated blood. While the second pump of the heart is uh, when the blood from different parts of the body enters the heart. So when the blood comes from the different parts of the body, it means that the blood contains lack of oxygen or it contains carbon dioxide because the cells already used or utilized the oxygen and in return carbon dioxide is loaded to the uh, red blood cells so it is called deoxygenated blood so again the first pump is from the lungs to the heart while the second pump is from the different parts of the body to the heart The second type of blood circulation is the systemic circulation, which is defined as the movement of blood from the heart to the rest of the body, excluding or except the lungs. How about the systemic circulation? So when we say systemic circulation, it involves the different systems in our body. Okay, from the aorta, which contains oxygenated blood and Within this part of the heart, it distributes blood to the different parts of the body. Say, for example, it will then be moved to the different systems such as kidney, brain, and stomach. So from there, okay, from the cells of kidney or brain or in the stomach, 
no? They will uh, use the oxygen as raw material and from there, they will unload the, the different nutrients to the blood. And after that, in return, carbon dioxide is loaded to the red blood cells. So, since it contains carbon dioxide, it is now called deoxygenated blood. The deoxygenated blood will then flow to the vein back to the heart, to the inferior vena cava. Inferior again from the lower part and superior from the upper part. Then it will then meet to the right atrium, to the right ventricle, and the cycle goes on. This is how the systemic circulation takes place. Lastly, we have the coronary circulation, which is defined as the movement of blood through the tissues of the heart. Remember that heart is also a system or a part of the system. Now, it has it, its own uh, circulation. Okay, so it is called coronary circulation. So coronary circulation happens when the aorta distributes oxygenated blood to the coronary arteries. So meron siyang isang ugat na nakahiwalay na intended lang para sa heart. Okay? So that is a coronary arteries which supplies uh, oxygenated blood to the muscle of the heart. And from there, the cardiac muscle tissues, yung tissues ng heart, sinusupplyan niya ng oxygen to the cardiac cells. Okay? And then, the cells will then use the oxygen and receives the food from the blood. So again, ganun pa rin gagamitin ang cells yung oxygen and as a byproduct, carbon dioxide is given to the red blood cells. And from there, it will then go back to the cardiac veins. Okay? Meron din siyang sarili ng vein. And from the vein, it will then go back to the superior vena cava. Then after that, to the uh, right atrium, to the right ventricle, to the pulmonary arteries, and so on. And the cycle goes on. So this is how the uh, coronary circulation takes place. This is the coronary arteries of the heart. So yung red na yan, no? So, sabi ko kanina, ito yung ugat na nagsusupply ng oxygen to the muscle of the heart and to the tissues and to the cells. Then, after which, meron namang vein dyan wherein yung uh, blood contains carbon dioxide and then uh, return the blood to the heart itself. So, how does the circulatory system and the respiratory system work together? Paano nga ba? Diba? Parang connected sila sa isa't isa. The lungs is the major organ of the circulatory system. It supplies oxygen to the blood. Then the blood transports the oxygen. Siya yung tagadala kahit sa ang part ng katawan, right? And the heart, which is the major organ of the circulatory system, pumps the blood throughout the body. So, para mag-move yung blood, kailangan ipap ng heart. Okay? Then, to the different parts of the body, to the tissues, and to the muscles, and to the cells, the cells uses oxygen and gives off carbon dioxide as byproduct. And the blood collects also the carbon dioxide. And then, the collected carbon dioxide will then be moved to the heart. Okay? So, the blood returns to the heart, then pumps the blood to the lungs. Okay? So, since wala siyang oxygen, hihingi siya kay lungs. Wherein, the blood gets oxidized or it will get oxygen from the lungs. So, they are connected to one another 